Hurricane Irene lashed North Carolina with 85 mile per hour winds that sent boats flying and left some roads unpassable. Damage and debris in the wake of the storm. And nearly 300,000 people are without power in North Carolina and Virginia. President Obama discussed the storm's progress in a conference call with Homeland Security Secretary Janet Napolitano at FEMA. It's going to be a long 72 hours, uh, and obviously a lot of families are going to be affected. Uh, what we heard, uh, the biggest concern I'm, I'm having right now has to do with flooding and, uh, and, uh, and power. Uh, it sounds like that's going to be an enormous strain uh, on a lot of states, uh, and that may take days. Uh, even longer in some cases, uh, depending on what the, the track of the storm ends up being. Uh, so we're really going to have to stay on top of the, uh, the recovery, uh, the response and recovery phase of this thing. And spoke with response coordinators in the operations center. So what do we got here, Craig? While Irene has been downgraded to a Category 1 hurricane, Homeland Security Secretary Janet Napolitano urged Americans not to be dismissive. Um, Irene remains a large and dangerous storm. Uh, people need to take it seriously. People need to be prepared. Further up the coast in Maryland, the historic waterfront town of Annapolis was finishing pre-hurricane preparations. Ezra Andrus, president and owner of Annapolis Yacht Company, was taking no chances. And yesterday and the day before and the day before, we've been kind of getting all of our boats secured and, and either out of the water or double lines. And so we spent all day yesterday getting the, the different boats ready for this. For Dan Baird, the threat of a tidal surge was more worrying than the hurricane itself. Waiting it out. We're going to get the boat out of the water when we get back. And uh, again, we're concerned about the surge, but the hurricane part, maybe we're stupid, but I'm not really worried about that part. Just worried about the, the boats and the surge. Irene is expected to hit the mid-Atlantic state Saturday night. Deborah Gimbera, Reuters.